I have been in the form of what if. I have felt it, I've experienced it, I've been a part of it, and I know we all have, especially if we're honest with ourselves. Um, the what if my mom dies? What if I lose a family member? What if my house burns down? What if my parents divorce? What if some major life-changing event happens? What if can keep us in a place of uncertainty? And I've been there. But I've also lived through the what if. What if your mom dies? My mom did die. She died when I was 12 years old. And what if my brother dies? He did die. He died four years after my mom. And what if I lose a cousin, a favorite cousin? Well, a year ago, I did lose a favorite cousin to COVID. And 11 months later, I lost another cousin to a, a tragic car accident. So I've lived in the what ifs. And those are the things that can uh, halt our thinking, halt our relationship with God. And we don't want those things to happen. So how did I get through it? That's the question. How am I getting through it? It sounds cliche, but God is the reason I'm getting through it. Um, I trust him. I believe in him. I know that he is lifting me and encouraging me and helping me. And I know that uh, there are people that are praying for me. And that has encouraged me. But also at the same time, I've also shed a lot of tears as well. And those tears, I thought about crying because I've cried a lot. And pain and sadness and loss does cause you to cry a lot. So I like acronyms and I thought about the word cry. And I thought about those three letters, C-R-Y. C for Christ, R for remember, and Y for yield. C for Christ because Christ has been so good to me. I have a special relationship with God and I work hard at it every day because he has been so good to me. I wouldn't be even here or making this video if he would, was not so good and had not been there for me. Um, he is my savior. He is your savior. He died for me as well as he died for you. And thank God for his church and his word that his father has left us to grow thereby. R would be for remember. I remember my cousin well. I remember the love of my cousin. I remember the uh, sweet memories from my cousins. I remember my mom well. I remember my brother well. Remember, God has blessed us with memories and memories can carry us through those times when we're in uh, that state of loss, in that state of uncertainty. And the why? Yield. Yield to God. Always yield. Yield means to surrender, to come out with your hands up, to know that you can yield uh, toward God and he is always there for you. He's always there with you. He catches every tear that falls. He knows how you feel. He has experienced that. He came to earth as a human, as we are, and he can relate to us. So remember the word cry. I also want to leave you with this as far as a little bit of hope. There are two scriptures that I pulled from my wall today that I want to share with you. The first one is, blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. James 1, 12. So being steadfast is to be uh, resolutely and steadfast, uh, loyal, um, unwavering, firmly fixed in place. And that's from James 1, 12. Also remember this one. I love this one. Psalms 57, 1. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. Psalms 57, 1. Refuge, that which shelters, that which protects. God shelters, God protects. He is with us. He knows everything about us. And as I said earlier, I hope and trust that you have been encouraged by this video that you don't stay in the what if mode, 
that you choose as the theme of your retreat this weekend is to be brave, to choose faith over fear.